Welcome to your pre morning call. First up, uh, just looking at the, the Kiwi, the New Zealand dollar, uh, US dollar cross, uh, and that's just hit a three month high, high since Feb 26, uh, popping after the uh, Reserve Bank of New Zealand offered a pretty um, well hawkish, really, um, read on the economy and on inflation um, and signaled that it's going to be hiking rates uh, in the second half of 2022. So that's moving. Um, that's moving up now um, off the back of that. And you've got this cross here, this MACD cross, that's bullish there. Um, if we drill in, yeah, it is crossed. So we can say that that's a bullish crossover on the MACD. So we're looking at that one. Um, and of course, we are trading above the moving averages. Um, elsewhere, uh, cable's just a bit lighter that's failing to really take hold of this dollar weakness that we're seeing. Euro uh, holding on to gains just about above that 122.450. That's the level. Uh, we're just sitting on that level now, which is a previous high. Um, dollar index remains on the back foot, um, but it's just a little bit off yesterday's low was at 89.53, I think was the low that we put in there. It's just trading a little bit off that now. Um, we've got some commentary from central bankers, of course, Richard Clarida, the vice chair of the Fed yesterday, um, just caused a little bit of not concern. The market closed a little bit lower. Uh, the U USA uh, 500 here, S&P 500 dropping um, a touch yesterday, down 0.2%. The Dow was also down 0.2%. Um, Richard Clarida, the vice chair, and sort of the intellectual backbone, if you like, of the Fed saying that they are talking about uh, tapering. And uh, it just underscores a, a real marked shift in tone since uh, a month or two ago, and really since those FOMC April meeting minutes were released. Um, so they are thinking about tapering. They are uh, thinking about pulling the emergency uh, accommodation, just reducing that slightly. So um, just causing a little bit of concern in the market, but the inflation worries are not so strong. Uh, we've got the core PCE reading coming up on uh, Friday, so watch out for that one. Um, now gas, you can just see trading a bit higher. Uh, gold trades above 1900 now, so it's up at 1905. So weaker US Treasury yields as these Fed speakers dial back inflation expectations is just helping gold. And the dollar is also a bit softer this morning. So that's good news for the metal. And that's it for now. We'll have more updates later. Thanks for watching.